Hey, hey, what's going on you guys? Thank you for watching this video on surviving summer camp. This is going to be a top 10 list on how to survive camp. Without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Number one is freedom. You survive camp because camp is a place of freedom, spiritual freedom. So God is going to show up. Jesus is going to be there. The Holy Spirit will be in our midst, and it's going to be an incredible experience. Uh, you can feel free to worship and praise God freely. You can raise your hands. You can, you can do what you need to do to worship your Creator. Our youth love to uh, be in a place they don't feel intimidated or shamed for their beliefs. Actually, uh, there's people that go up that are not Christian, that just are exploring their faith. So this is a great opportunity to listen to the speaker, the preacher, and to hear the, the message, to hear the Bible verses, to really hear the incredible hope that we are going to uh, experience through Jesus. So uh, be open and listen to the lyrics as well, to the worship that we sing. We're going to sing songs. It's going to be incredible. Uh, number two is respect. So this is actually really important. To survive camp, we need to respect each other's space. And uh, some of you may live with people, some of you may not live with many people, and you have your own space. Whatever the case, you need to know how to live with other people. Because some people have uh, their own way of living. They are used to what they are used to. And so we need to be accommodating as we live literally for six nights with other people in close proximity. Here's some tips how to respect people. Respect their space by uh, not touching their things. So like, we don't wanna be like using their shampoo even though it's physically there, like that's somebody's shampoo. Uh, we've all been there where we like go to use our stuff and it's been touched or moved. Um, don't take photos of people without their permission and uh and not in the cabins because it's just like you know some of us don't look our best in our cabins like we're relaxed so don't take pictures in cabins um don't jump into somebody's bunk uh without their permission uh don't use their stuff ask ask for permission to before you use people's things this one's really cool when it comes to respecting people um don't leave anybody out. Just like include everybody and in everything. Like if you see somebody alone that's in your cabin or that goes to our church or that's with our group, just include them in everything. Whether it's food, at the, the table, on the rec field, just include people in everything that you're doing. All right, number three, questions. Camp is a place where you can feel free to ask any question. There's no question that you can't ask. And if you hear a question, uh, that somebody asks that you know or you think is silly, that's okay. Like camp is a place where we're learning and experiencing new things. And some of us, this is our first time away from home. So like, we don't really know what it's like to be at camp and that's okay. So camp is a place to be uh, brave and to ask uncomfortable questions. Not just uh, how to live life, practical things, but also spiritually speaking uh, about the Bible or theology. All right, number four, allergies. We're not bringing nuts or common allergic triggers in our bags to camp because somebody might be allergic to airborne things. So um, aerosols can be aggravating if you have asthma. So for example, but like DEET bug spray, hairspray, perfumes, um, deodorants, sunscreens, spray those outside away from the cabin door. Uh, not indoors. So just please be mindful of people's allergies. That's number four. The fifth way to survive camp, clean everything. So clean up and make your bed before leaving in the morning. Uh, put everything away. So if you have a toothbrush or something out or dirty socks, just put everything away. Have a container for dirty clothes. Um, every morning, don't just wait till the night. Every morning, clean your cabin because you're gonna be using your cabin for small group time, cabin time, changing time, prep time. Your cabin is like home central. So like to have stuff out on the floor, it's just gonna be in other people's way and um, it won't be as enjoyable of a room if your stuff is all over the place. So even in the morning, make sure you're making your bed and cleaning up. Clean the restrooms when you're done, like wipe down the counter if it's just 
grossly like wet. You need to clean after yourself after meals. So like if, if, if like the table's messy, clean the table. And for the rec field, like even help your rec leaders with rec equipment and supplies. How cool would it be if Bay Farm Church was known as the church that was the most helpful at camp? That would be really, really awesome. And you get points. So not only do you, might you win a t-shirt, you may win camp. So we need to clean and everybody needs to participate. Along with this number five is this extra bonus thing. And this is not a bonus for some of you, but taking showers and changing your clothes daily will help you make new friends. It really will, trust me. Uh, I'm looking at you, uh, yeah, you, that you know who you are. Uh, take showers every single day, bring up body wash, bring up a puff, bring up a sponge, whatever you use and just bathe and you will be very happy and your, your friends will be happy. All right, number six, safety. Safety in all things, uh, no diving in the lake. You never know non-pool water how deep it is. It's not labeled, it's also murky. So it could be six inches deep and it's really important to never dive in the lake or a pond or um, even in the pool, unless like it's a designated diving place. Usually there's a diving board and there's a picture of somebody going, ah, you know, into the water. Um, also no swimming unless you've passed the swim test. For junior high, you are gonna do a swim test and you'll wear a wristband with a certain color. Just please be safe out there, you guys. It's gonna be awesome, campers. Number seven, throttle. Throttle how much you're spending. So like, don't just go all in, you know, push the pedal to the metal with your funds because you'll run out. Don't buy all your treats on the first day. Uh, throttle your spending. Don't forget to share. I added this, this is a cool little extra thing. So like bring extra stuff. How fun is it to give stuff away just to bless people? And so be that person that's just giving things and you'll be the most loved person at camp. Share your supplies and uh, you'll make people feel like they're part of the cabin crew. Everybody loves receiving something. So bring extra to share, but also throttle your, your money. Uh, I think I might say this later, but also throttle your energy. Uh, we do talk a little bit later on number 10 about taking time, but throttle your energy, uh, definitely go all in, like go all in, but make sure you're taking uh, breaks, like you're um, taking that rest that you need. Drink lots of water, just always down water, like all day, every day, just carry this like everywhere you go, excuse me. Because uh, doctors tell me, I didn't, I didn't know this, you can get behind on your hydration and it's hard to catch up. Especially it's gonna be hot up there. We're a few thousand feet in the mountain. It's gonna be uh, direct sun and um, uh, wear sunscreen, that's a given, but hydrate for sure. Number eight is conflict. If you have a conflict with a peer, work it out quickly. This is actually said in Matthew, uh, the book of Matthew in the Bible. Work it out quickly. Don't wait until the sun goes down. Don't let it fester. Just, just work it out with that person. Be ready to apologize. This is like tip number one for conflict resolution. Like that person might be right or wrong. You might be right or wrong, whatever the case. Be ready to apologize. And I can't tell you how many times that's been helpful for conflict resolution for me as well. Uh, be ready to apologize, even if you're not in the wrong. So if needed, get a counselor within two feet of you in all directions, there's gonna be staff or counselors. The lead counselors will have these crazy hats or these big purses or purses and satchels and they're gonna have green stuff and you'll see the lead counselors. You'll always be able to find them to help mediate conflict to share a place in a space is, is tough. And so let's assume there's gonna be little conflicts and let's just uh, go into it uh, ready to apologize and just um, serve that person. Counselors are great third parties. They're great third parties and they're unbiased. They, they don't pick sides. They'll just help you through the conflict, cool? All right, number nine is fun. Yes, points, prizes. There's a lot to gain at camp, you will. Uh, be stronger, you'll be more agile, you'll be more spiritually fit, you will uh, be more emotionally mature at the end of camp. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna eat great food, 
great snacks and junk food. Uh, we're gonna win things and you could possibly win camp if you get enough points. So just uh, have fun. Memorize those Bible verses. That's the key to success. If you don't memorize your Bible verses, this is just a tip and uh, a life hack that you won't win camp without Bible verses. So if you're interested in winning, you'll have to get those because they're worth like hundreds, thousands of points. And uh, number 10, we have made it. So finally, time. Take time at camp to meditate. To survive camp, you need to pray, uh, take solitude, go up and hug a tree. Don't go too far. You're not allowed to like leave because you really can get lost and turned around. This is not the safety tip, but it is a tip that if you are taking solitude, just be careful about, you know, there's bears up there. There's, and also just getting lost would be worst case scenario. So definitely don't go too far, but take time. There's so many places at Hume Lake Camp to just be alone for a little bit. Uh, generally speaking, we're gonna be together all the time. Tell somebody specifically where you're gonna be, a counselor, and then just take a little bit of alone time to reflect. Uh, bring a journal, uh, commit to God, commit to God what you want your life to look like when you come down the hill. Commit to your parents mentally, like write something down to your parents or to your sibling or to your friends. You know, have it written down, have a, have a game plan for coming back down the hill. Commit to living for Jesus. This is going to be the best life you'll ever live, trust me. Uh, the Bible promises it. God promises he will be with you. And he is. He's going to be with you as a child of God. He's going to be with you. You're going to have this camp high. It's going to be awesome. You're, you're up there in the hills. You come back down and live regular life. And it's it's going to be better after camp. Um, so plan, plan that before you come home. That's it. That's all I have for you. So to survive camp, it's those 10 things. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Let's do this. I will see you very soon. Later.